to the Public Education Foundation's podcast series featuring excellent teachers in Hamilton County. For more information on excellent teachers and how the Public Education Foundation is working to spread excellence to every classroom, visit www.pefchattanooga.org. Diane Kelleher's students like a challenge, and Ms. Kelleher surely provides that for them in her anatomy and physiology class at Ultawa High School. Join us as we visit Diane Kelly here's excellent classroom. Perfect. And then see how it goes around on the depression, the fossa? Uh-huh. Okay, you see that? Interesting. Okay, and so those little depressions, the little fossa, allow the projections to do the This is a higher level uh, senior science class, anatomy and physiology. Uh, students, it's an elective class. Students choose to be in this class and it has a reputation of being a challenging class, and it is. And um, the idea is to expose the students to prepare them for medical school or anatomy, physiology, and college. So there's a lot of material. Not only do they have to memorize, but they have to learn. We're cutting out pieces of paper that's supposed to represent the muscles. It's supposed to be a physical activity to, to help us learn the insertion and learn by actually putting it on the body. Just another way to stimulate the brain, I guess. We do more hands-on stuff, I feel like, and she kind of gives us it, just because it's college material, she gives us more leeway to do what we need to do as an individual instead of having the whole class do one thing. I ask questions or like when they're labeling, I won't tell them the answer. I make them find it and then I make them figure it out. And I think doing that, they discover they know the answer. They just need a little guidance along the way. And so I think that's probably one of the most valuable things in having small classes, you can do that. It actually does help if you don't like tell me. I'm sorry. I, I, like, I want you to tell me that. No, no, I'll tell you if it's right or wrong, but I want you to figure it out. It just kind of makes it interesting. Um, Makes learning the body interesting. And like she, I was saying, she knows honestly, all she's this. not pretty well. Yeah, honestly, she's she's probably one of the best teachers in Edgewood High School. But she's not, she's really yeah, nice, if not the best, just because she's willing to help you. Um, in check, she knows what she's talking yeah. about. She makes it intriguing. I mean, because parts parts of this are kind of monotonous, but uh, she helps keep uh, keep us interested in it. Um, I expose the students and have them the first time to do all do the same method. I say, okay, we're all going to do the cards. We're all the next time we'll all do the charts. The next time we'll do this. So everybody tries it, and then which way do you learn the best? As long you can have one of the three ways. Whatever the way that you feel like helps you is what you do, and then you turn that into me. So I give them the options, but exposes them. I said, be open to see which one you think helps you. And, you know, and, and they'll say, I want to do this, Ms. Kelly here. I want to do this. And he selected to do the chart. He said, this, this helps me the most. So I give them the option, but they have to try. They have to try different methods first, and then they come up with, well, when the test comes, which one are you going to go to? Which one do you feel like helped you the most? You know, she frequently asks us questions about what we need help with. Um, actually makes an effort to make sure we know, know it, not memorize it. Right, and there's never a day that we walk in the classroom where she doesn't try to review with us. You know, a lot of the, that's something I don't, I don't think I've really had in the teacher. Every day there's we come to the class. Every day. Yeah. Yeah. There's something to help relate us back to what we're trying to study. Um, and everything builds off of each Right. Like the last, the last unit yeah. this is connected to this unit. As teachers share, this, this building is wonderful. We have a change coach, and she gives us ideas, tools to use that other teachers have shared. Um, she comes in and visits the classroom and she'll say, you know, she'll say, when I taught, I did this and this. Or she'll say, um, she'll ask for best practices and then she's really good about sending those along. And uh, since she was a science teacher, even more so, she will send me a little note and say, oh, did you notice on this page there was three that I thought would be really good for your class. So um, she's excellent. I mean, it's good because you can like apply like like when we were learning the muscles like on the cards. We're like, okay, it's connecting from here to here. Like, if we didn't have these, these would be so much more difficult to learn because we'd be like, well, what part of my body is this? And like, this doesn't make any sense. How is this helping it move like this? And, 
So it, it's really good to be able to do hands-on in here. They are excited about what they're learning and they are learning it. They're not just memorizing it, they're memorizing some, but they're applying it. And see, then they know it and they know they know it. And they want you to know they know it. <laughs> That's why so funny is, you know, they want you to know what they know, what they're learning. So it's just not, you know, it, it's not the grade because they're not all making A's. It's look what I've learned and I know this and I will always know this. Thank you for visiting the classroom of one of Hamilton County's many excellent teachers. For more on excellent teachers and the Public Education Foundation, visit www.pefchattanooga.org.